Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're making a super fast spaghetti and meatball weeknight dinner. This is a classic meatball recipe and the classic sauce recipe. It's easy for that weeknight dinner and to have around for leftovers. The ingredients for the meatballs are ground beef, an onion, breadcrumbs, eggs, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and milk. That's it. So put in two pounds of ground beef into a bowl. This is 80% lean and it was on sale at the grocery store. And you're gonna need a half a cup of minced onion, which is one half of a large onion. So peel it and chop it. I do little tiny verticals one way and slice her up the top. And down you go with a little crosshatch action. And there you're gonna get little fine pieces. It's just like a checkerboard. And in they go, just like confetti. Add one cup of breadcrumbs, one half cup of milk, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons salt, one half teaspoon pepper, and time for the eggs. One and two. And for this part of the recipe, you need really clean hands. So lather them up and give them a rinse. Because we gotta make our meatballs. <laughs> So moms, bring your kids in for this part of the recipe. It's the most fun part. So do the mush up. Squeeze it together and mix all those ingredients together. This is an extra big batch of meatballs. It's double the recipe because you're gonna want leftovers. I don't want the meat to be too squished together or too overmixed because if you do that, you might get little tough meatballs. And we don't want that. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in a couple of pans and spread it around all over because you don't want the meatballs to stick. And preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And let the fun begin. I grab enough just about the size of my fist or a little bit smaller and roll them around. I like mine a little larger. So after rolling them around, put them in a pan and keep going. Parents out there, this is a really great recipe to get kids involved with cooking. If you do that at a young age and don't make the kitchen off limits, they'll be cooking with you for their whole lives. And we're gonna keep going until all the meat's gone. I make them uniform so they'll all cook evenly. I'm putting in my new brand new set of copper pans by Fleischer & Wolf. I love these pans. They're pans to have in a kitchen for a lifetime. It's stainless steel on the interior. They're extremely high quality. These pots and pans will go from stove top to the oven. That's why I'm doing the meatballs in them. Their copper set is beautiful. The 10 pieces come with an assortment of sizes. So I can make my spaghetti sauce, make my pasta, and my meatballs in the same set. The last one is not a rotten egg. Arrange them so nobody's touching their neighbor because you want air touching all sides of your meatballs. And one more wash and place them in the oven together. Close her up and timer for 40 minutes. If you had Peabody meatballs, you would have to only cook this for 25 minutes. But mine are large and voluptuous, so they go in for 40. And to top those meatballs, we need a sauce. This is a vegetarian sauce. The ingredients are tomato sauce, onion, Italian seasoning, chili flakes, salt and pepper, fresh garlic, and some olive oil. To get to the finish line fast, we gotta saute up our onions. So turn your stove on high, and in your pot add two tablespoons of olive oil. Swish it around, and add one large onion, which is about a cup and a half. And let's add some garlic. I'm gonna add about four heads. So line them up and give them a whack because you want to get the skins off. That would stick in someone's teeth. This is just my quickest way to get that fresh garlic in that pan. And now give them a chop, chop, chop. Mince it up. And when they're in little pieces, we're going to add them to the pot. They're going to join their onion cousins. And I like to flatten it out to have as much contact with the hot surface as possible. To your onions and garlic, I'm adding one tablespoon salt, one half teaspoon, black pepper, one quarter teaspoon chili flakes. I like mine a little spicy. One bay leaf and one tablespoon Italian seasoning. That already smells great. So I'm just gonna mix it up and the heat is gonna release all the essential oils 
and all those spices. And after three minutes cooking on high, stir them around because what you're trying to do is get them a little browned and translucent. And let them cook for another three minutes. One more stir and it's time to add our sauce. There's two cups and another two cups for a total of four. Here are the big cans at your grocery store. Very inexpensive. And stir it around. And to that thick sauce, we're adding one can of water. It's going to reduce down. I've left my stove on high because some of that water is going to boil off and make a thicker sauce. So for this weeknight recipe, put a lid on it because that's going to heat it up faster. And it's only going to take 30 minutes for your weeknight dinner. This is my trick. <laughs> and then after it comes to a boil, take the top off and turn your stove down to medium. This Flasher & Wolf Seville Series Copper Pot Set is one of Oprah's favorite things this year. And we can see why. They are triply hammered stainless steel copper and they are oven and grill safe. It's a full set. They are high quality, heavy, and they are thick. Copper is one of the most sensitive materials and it's very exacting to use for cooking. It'll naturally discolor, but that's why they give you a free right copper cream with it to have that shiny, bright copper finish. You just use your copper clean. It's easy. The premium stainless steel interior has a thick heat radiating aluminum core for efficient heat distribution. That shiny hammered effect copper exterior is the best for heat control and heat retention. The handles are stainless steel and they're built for strength and stability over a lifetime of use. It has the whole variety. It has an eight inch, and nine and a half inch fry pan. It has a three quart saucepan with a cover, a two quart and a one quart, and even an almost six quart Dutch oven. And that's what I used to make the sauce. It comes with all 10 pieces as a set and it's shipped to you in one carton. It's an amazing set from a small pot to the medium pot, to the large pot, to the big daddy pot and the frying pans as well. They're just beautiful. I don't use a dishwasher to clean these because it might discolor a bit. And that stainless steel is so hardy, I can use a steel wool pad to clean them out. Time to make the pasta. So add cold water to your copper pot. On high she goes. That's gonna make that water boil faster. Time to cook our pasta. I like to break them in half. Easier for the kids to eat. And I cook spaghetti for eight minutes. Those noodles are room temp, so it took the heat down. So I put a lid on it to bring it back up to a boil. It's been 30 minutes and that sauce is done. These pots are so beautiful, you can put them right on your table. Look at that sauce. Look how beautiful that is. It's nice and thick. Done. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Don't those look great? Pretty enough to serve in those gorgeous copper pots. It's going to be beautiful on those meatballs. And make sure you season your noodles with salt. It pre-seasons your pasta. Look at those meatballs. They're beautiful. And check out the center. Perfectly done. Oh, so put the sauce on those noodles. That looks luscious. And add your little meatballs. Three's a lucky number. And they get sauce too. And add some Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah, what a great dinner. Click the link and get your Fleischer & Wolf Seville 10 piece copper set. They are a lifetime treasure. Time for the bite. I want a little bit of everything. Mm. I'm having a personal experience. That's awesome. I'm Rebecca Brown, subscribe to my channel, and let's keep making great recipes in life like a super fast spaghetti and meatball weeknight dinner. Or for company, it's that good. <laughs>